Good morning. I just got out of the shower. I woke up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning because I have a very exciting day ahead of me, ahead of us, because I'm going to be taking you along for the ride. We're going to be checking out the brand new Diptyque Boutique at the Forum Shops at Caesars. I'm so excited. I, <laughs> you guys know, I am such a huge fan of Diptyque. I've been buying their candles for decades now, long before I moved here to Vegas, and I've gotten into their body products. If you guys, sorry, a little tangent here. If you guys have not tried their body scrub, I highly recommend, or their body cream. I highly, highly recommend both of their products. So, so good, especially the body scrub. If you can find it, it's always sold out for good reason. Anyway, I've gotten into their body products. I've gotten into their fragrances. I mean, their line is so, it's just so impeccable. It's so impeccably like thought out and worked out and merchandised and everything. It's so tight and I, I just love it. You guys know how much I love their candles. I get their advent calendars now <laughs> every year. So I was beyond excited when I heard that they were opening up another boutique here uh, in Vegas. I've taken you actually along with me on like a shop with me to the Wynn shops where they have a Diptyque boutique. And yeah, I've purchased like hand soap refills, uh, the holiday candles. And as you guys know, I wallpapered my entire dining room with Diptyque wallpaper. So you know, my obsession runs deep. Anyway, I am not only beyond thrilled that they have another boutique here, which means they're doing really well, which makes me very excited, but I am and I can't believe I'm saying these words. I am working with Diptyque on this video. Yes, I can't believe it. I am so excited. A big thank you to them for wanting to work with me for um, setting this all up. So they are opening the boutique a little early for me so that we can get like a little private viewing of their offerings, of the design of the boutique. I'm so excited because the one at the win is so gorgeous. They have this huge like 3D piece of artwork uh, like right in the center. So I'm really excited to see what they've done with the Forum Shops uh, boutique because I haven't been there. I haven't been there yet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm just getting ready for the day. I just uh, showered and blew out my hair and I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I feel like wide leg trousers. I actually just wore these gray ones, didn't I? Where did I go? I went some, oh, when I went shopping at Prada, I wore these. So maybe I will wear uh, my black, God, these are so, they're like dust magnets, uh, but maybe I'll wear these black wide leg trousers. Maybe we'll do an easy white blouse with this H&M cardigan. I got this cardigan a while ago and I was really happy to see, again, everything on H&M and Cos like just sells out so quickly. But the last time I checked, they had another, like a new version of this cardigan. So again, I'll link it down below, but I love this cardigan. It's like kind of, kind of cropped, um, but it's such a good weight and it's very, it's warm, but it's light, you know, it's not too insulating. I think this outfit calls for my Prada loafers, yes? Yes. And I think I'm gonna bring my Lueve puzzle bag. I think this will be kind of a cute, Edition. All right, today I think is a spot conceal day instead of <laughs> instead of foundation. And I feel like my skin actually looks pretty good if I if I do say so myself. Sorry, that sounds so <laughs> obnoxious, but yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Got my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. You guys know I love using this on its own. I'm gonna use this makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade light. I will never get these names uh, straight, but I'm gonna go in with the Surratt brush that I was just using. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna use the Lancome blush in 217. Then, do I wanna do highlight? Maybe just just a little bit today. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury, the new one, the Glow Glide Face Architect <laughs> highlight. I have it in Champagne Glow. I am really enjoying this highlight. I just love how smooth it is. Um, I'm using the Surratt. This is actually the large smoky eye brush, but I think it makes for a great highlight brush as well, especially if you just want just a little bit. And then I'm going to use my Chantecaille. Uh, brow tint, I think it's called. Let's see. 
Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint, and I have it in the shade Dark. And then for eyes, I just want to do something really simple. So I'm just going into the Surat Beyond Beige palette. I'm going into the Grease shade with my Builder Pro? Yeah, no, Blender Pro, excuse me, my Blender Pro from Sonia G. And just bringing that into the socket line area and the outer corner. I think this is all I'm going to do. Actually, I lied. I'm going to throw in some of this shade. This is the shade that I continuously use and continuously cannot figure out how to <laughs> pronounce this word. But it starts with a Z and it has um, a little bit more of a, like a satin finish to it. It's not like a soft matte the way that Grige is. So I'm just going to plop this all over my lid. I'm just using the same brush. Just throwing on the Chantecaille. Faux Seals, Longest Lash Mascara, and then some of the Hourglass. So I just did a quick uh, TikTok because Tower 28 sent me their new Juice Bombs. These are great. They're like really juicy tinted bombs, and I have the shade Drink on. But definitely check out that shorts if you're interested in like swatches. I do some hand swatches. I swatch them all on my lips. They're really, really nice. Squeeze. Actually, I'm going to take drink off and wear squeeze today. So there is squeeze. Yeah, squeeze. Oh, they're so comfortable. I love these. All right. So that is my makeup look. So I just had to show you the Tower 28 Juice Mom in like natural light here. It is so pretty. This is like the perfect red orange lip. You guys know how much I love a tinted balm because I don't feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel like it, it's as fussy as like a really high pigmented lip, highly pigmented lip, even though those are wonderful too for its, their own reasons. But I just really love a tinted balm. They're so, so easy to put on, so comfortable. And I am like thrilled with the level of pigmentation. I feel like Tower 28 really knocked it out of the park. They really, really like nailed the pigmentation. It's not too light where I know some people are like, why even bother <laughs> with a Ditton Balm? But I think that there's like, obviously there's like enough that you can see it and it's so pretty. I made it to the brand new Diptyque Boutique at the Forum Shops at Caesars. I am so excited to show you how beautiful this space is. but I think I want to try, you said this was the softening? Yes. Absolutely. Softening hand wash. I think I'm going to get a re-up on that.
It's really, really beautiful. I love it. And I wish you guys could smell but just like walking in, just the mixture of all the beautiful fragrances in here. It's incredible. It's such an experience. I know it's very popular in the beauty world to use the empty vessels as like makeup brush yeah, holders. detail on the top so beautiful love it in here you guys i'm never leaving <laughs> i am back from the diptyque boutique was that not incredible if you live in las vegas area if you are visiting las vegas please go see gus at the diptyque boutique at caesar's she is so well informed on all of the products and i felt like and we were talking about this before i left i'm like i feel like you're a scent soul sister of mine because she just kept pointing out like scents that I loved, like really, really loved. So I just wanted to show you guys what I purchased. I mean, you cannot walk out of that store. After talking to Gus, you cannot walk out of that store empty handed. And then they were so sweet and like giving me a little goodie bag too. So let's start with the goodie bag because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what is in here. I'm so excited. Um, oh, they gifted me the velvet hand lotion. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They also gifted me, ooh, the Dosan Eau de Parfum. Oh, this is incredible. I am actually wearing, I'm actually wearing Dosan today and I've just been using the little sprayer that I got um, in the advent calendar. So this, oh, this is so wonderful. And then they gave, oh, my favorite. This is my favorite, the bay candle. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the Diptyque team um and now let me show you what i <laughs> what i purchased this is uh, a very diptyque full day to go with the hand lotion i got the softening hand wash which i was talking about so i've been using the exfoliating hand wash and i thought i could just get the refill and put it into the exfoliating hand wash jar but the pump is different because the exfoliating hand wash has beads in it and so yeah it has like a different mechanism so I had to get the whole kit and caboodle here with the actual um, jar, the pump, and the uh, hand wash. So I'm glad I picked that up because it's gonna be perfect with the lotion, so awesome. And then I got three fragrances. I went a little bit crazy. So I got the L'Ombre Dans Lou. This is the one that smells the closest to the Bay scent. So if you are really into this sort of deep rose, black currant kind of scent, you are gonna love this. This is really incredible. And then I got the O Mohali. This is the one that has like a little bit of ginger in there. It's so incredible. And then I got the O Rila. And this is the one that blew my mind because it is a mixture of tobacco and raspberry. It's so incredible. And I think what I love the most about Diptyque fragrances is uh, that they're very, very unisex. So I don't feel like any of them are either too deep and typically masculine or they're too sweet and flowery. Like they all have a little bit of mixture of both. So they kind of dance between the two and I, oh, I love them. I cannot wait, 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 wait to just douse myself in this. I'm gonna be so obnoxious with this. Oh, Rila. And then, what else did I get? Um, oh, they gifted me a little tube rose candle. Mm, beautiful. And then I could not, could not walk away without getting the, and I'm gonna ruin this beautiful packaging. This is the Nargile. I think, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that. Nargile. This is the one that smells like honey and tobacco. And now that I'm saying that, 
I'm questioning myself if this has a tobacco note. Hold on, let me look this up. It's leather, I'm sorry. Okay, so the Orilla has notes of leather and raspberry. Yes, so this one is leather and this one has uh, tobacco and honey, sense of honey in here. And that is it, that is plenty. Oh, I am so, so excited for these. I, you know, am pretty well acquainted with the Diptyque candles and I've gotten into like their body care, like the hand lotions and uh, the hand washes and the body creams and all of that stuff. But I think discovering their perfume line is like my next journey within Diptyque. So I'm really, really excited. So that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me to the new boutique at Caesars. Again, if you're in Vegas, definitely check it out. It's what an experience. And definitely carve out some time too because I was there for like an hour and a half and it felt like I was there for 15 minutes. Like you just get completely sucked into the world of Diptyque. It's incredible. And a big thank you to Diptyque for working with me on this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.